Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to be trying something with you guys for the first time and what I'm doing is trying to bake biscuits with a sterno can. Well, not one, but three sterno cans. And people said it couldn't be done. People said you can't do much with that fancy heat sterno can. And when somebody says I can't do something or it's not possible, that means it's game on because I'm going to give it a try. <laughs> I'm going to get it done. So join me for this little experiment and we'll see if we can make some biscuits. Okay, so today we're going to be doing some fancy heat baking, or at least I think we're going to. It's really an experiment. Um, this is actually take two of this experiment, so be sure to watch the end of the video where I did take one. Um, and it's my what not to do when you're cooking with fancy heat in your kitchen. So what I have is three cans here. These are new. I, I just lit them for like two minutes and then put them out, but it's a new can. It should burn for two hours. I have three of them here inside a turkey roaster pan and then I have a grate or a grill grate from my um, grill, my charcoal grill. And the reason I'm using this is because I know it's going to stand up to the direct flame of these fancy heat thingies. And then I have my cast iron skillet and a lid. So what I'm going to attempt to do is bake some biscuits with some sterno <laughs> cans. Um, I already opened this up, um, mixed half a cup of water in, and made my biscuit mix. What I'm going to do is set this aside, and I'm going to preheat my sterno. Um, I'm going to preheat my Dutch oven. So I'm going to go ahead and light these up. And these are safe to use indoors. I'm going to try to not put them too close together, um, which is why I'm doing this experiment indoors. I do have the back um, sliding glass door open just in case, but I'm going to set my grate on top here. That kind of works. There we go. And then go ahead and start preheating my Dutch oven. So those are lined up just about right under the Dutch oven so I can get as much heat concentrated as possible. And I'm gonna go ahead and start my mental timer right now. It is 3.50 and I'm gonna see how long this whole process takes from lighting the sternos to actually getting baked biscuits, hopefully. So I'll come back in a little bit when I think that's heated up good enough to throw the biscuits in. Okay, so I've had the sterno cans burning under there for about five minutes and it's starting to feel nice and toasty in here. So I'm going to go ahead and dole out my biscuits. And this uh, cast iron skillet is already uh, pre-seasoned, so should be good to go. I don't know, they might still stick a little bit, but it'll be alright. That's a big one. Like I said, I have never tried this. Maybe it should go smaller. Let's see. Let's see if I have room for one little one in the middle. Okay, so that's what I'm gonna do. Put it back on and we'll let that bake for just a few minutes and maybe I'll give it 10 minutes and I'll check on it. In a traditional oven at 450 degrees it says 8 to 11 minutes so I'm going to give this 10 minutes and then just check on it and I'll update you guys then. Okay so these biscuits have been baking baking <laughs> for 10 minutes now. Probably not a good idea to touch that. Oh my gosh, look! Can you see that? I don't want to move my camera because it's delicately balanced right now, but they're kind of baking. So I'm going to give them, let's say, another five minutes or so, and I'll come back and update you. 
what I've been doing the whole time um, is slowly rotating the cast iron skillet just a little bit so that the sternos aren't burning on the same biscuit constantly. So I just kind of rotate my cast iron around to give it some even heat. But I'll update you guys in another five minutes. Okay, so I baked them for five minutes longer. And look at this. Those look like biscuits. Let's see. I'm just gonna look, they came right off. Look at that. A little brown and crispy on the bottom. They kind of look like they're almost not done on top, but I'm gonna go ahead and try to ooh, hot. Look at that. Oh my gosh. That's a perfect biscuit. It can be done. Butter my biscuits. I just cooked biscuits with a sterno can. Oh my gosh. That is fabulous. Wow. I am so surprised. I thought it couldn't be done. To be honest, I thought I was making this video and it was not going to turn out. But I have perfectly good biscuits here. Just a little burnt. Um, but they are totally fine. I should have been rotating the pan, I think, a little more often. But goodness gracious, guys, you can bake with sterno cans. And those that's $3 worth of sterno cans right there. And probably a $1 pack of Bisquick biscuit mix and half a cup of water. And you are good to go in a grid down situation. So I just wanted to show you guys that. And be sure to keep watching because I'm going to show you the mistake I made when I first tried this. Should we get to go? I don't want them too close together so that they might like burn um, into each other. And I don't know how hot these things get, but I've seen people cook with tea light candles. So I'm hoping this works. You see them all three go in there. And I guess I should start my timer. So I'm going to start a mental timer right now just to see how long this whole process takes. Oops. I'm put this pizza grate on top here. If you have a different type of grate, um, maybe from a grill or um, a drying, or what is it called? A cooling rack from an oven. Whoa. I hope this isn't too dangerous. Can you see that? Hmm. Well, this might be a little too hot. Let's see. Well, we're going to see. This could or could not be too much heat on this rack because it's so close. But, wish me luck. Hope I don't burn the house down. I'm going to check on it from time to time, but I just want to see. Oh, no, smoke is coming up. Smoke is coming up. 